Hi there, Harry here with a quick battery care and health check video. These are lithium ion batteries and so it's important that we make sure these are running well and uh, here's some things to look out for going into winter. We've been selling the E20.7 for five years now, so some of you may recognize this as being one of our earlier batteries. Um, we do have a newer style, one which I'll go into in a moment, but here's some of the things to look out for on the older style. We have the, the charging cable coming from the bottom of the battery, which is fixed. Um, the first thing to look out for would just be any sign of damage on the cable itself. Um, obviously it's coiled, so just prying it apart slightly and just checking that everything's intact and that there's no sign of rupturing. The metal connector at the bottom, which obviously plugs into the frame of the bike, it's worth just checking that there's no sign of damage there and if there's any grit or uh, excessive water that you just wipe that away at the end of a ride, especially going into winter. Some of our customers on the older style, we've noticed over the years, have a tendency to pull the battery out um, either without unscrewing it fully um, or just by pulling it by the cable. And we have noticed on a couple of examples over time that that can cause some fatigue here at the joint. So just making sure that this cable is nice and snug in there and that there's no sign of any damage going on there. So the last thing to check on this older style battery would just be that the base plate at the bottom of the battery is nice and tight and that there's no movement there, that you've still got all four bolts at the bottom there and that the cable going into the battery, there's just no sign of wear or any damage there. So working your way up the battery, just checking for any signs of dent and damage to the casing of the battery. It's aluminium casing, so pretty tough. Moving to the top of the battery, we've got the charging port here and this plate. Just making sure that the plate is, isn't damaged uh, and that the charging port, if you have the rubber bung in, just take that out and check for any signs of damage, any grit or any dirt in there. If you can clean that out, that's always going to help. Uh, and that these two screws at the top are tight. Moving over to our newer style battery, uh, the obvious difference is that the cable isn't connected to the battery, but it comes from the frame. Uh, the same thing really applies though. At the bottom of the battery, just making sure that this um, plate at the bottom is tight, and that there's no movement there, and that the actual connection itself is tight. And if you give it a wiggle with your finger, there's no movement in there. Obviously, if you're riding a lot in the rain and the mud in the winter, just making sure that this area stays clean. And if you wipe away any excessive dirt and grit that gets in there, it will just help maintain a stable connection. So the same thing applies on this battery, just make sure that the casing is intact and that there's no sign of any dents. Uh, and then going up to the charging port, exactly the same thing, just keeping this area clean as you can, making sure these bolts are tight uh, and that the actual port itself is free from any grit and dirt. With regards to the charger and charging the battery, um, the same kind of things apply um, as would to a phone or a laptop, anything that you charge at home. Um, check the cable for any signs of damage, check the actual charger itself and the connections, um, but try not to charge excessively. Don't leave it overnight or don't leave it unattended. If you have a timed plug socket, that's always a good idea to make sure that you're not charging for longer than you need to be. The charger does get warm and so making sure there's ventilation and it's not covered in clothing, for example, um, is always a good idea. A quick indicator on the health of the battery um, is on the display of the 20.7 and 20.8. If you turn the display on, and cycle through pressing the middle button. You'll see at the bottom of the screen, there's VOL and then followed by a number. Uh, and on a full charge, we would expect the battery to read somewhere between 40 and 42 volts. So moving over to our newer style display, um, we don't need to cycle through the display. Just turn the display on and you'll see at the top next to the battery display, um, you'll see a number followed by a V. And again, on a full charge, we'd expect to see between 40 and 42. And that's a quick battery health check video. If anything doesn't line up uh, with what we've shown you here today, please do get in touch with us, help at astarly.co.uk or contact the shop that you bought the bike from and we'll get it sorted.